Okay, I'm going to see if I can find Buddy. And uh, there's the squirrel in a tree just nibbling. And I don't think it's necessarily Buddy. Bud Bud, I love you. I love you, Buddy. Oh, you know what? That is Buddy, I bet you. Oh, so I was mistaken. So I was calling to him, and he was just eating over here, minding his own business, chilling. I love you, buddy. I figured it would be worth a second look because he did not run away and climb higher up the tree when I approached. So I was like, well, that might be Bud Bud, but I couldn't. He looked a bit smaller, and he also looked um, his color to be a bit different, but that's Buddy's uh, color palette. Um... I can't see if he has the scar on his back, really, from this angle, because it's just a bit covered. But that looks to be Buddy. I also can't see if it's a he. But it explains why he hasn't run away. And I heard him this whole time. Uh, I, I tracked down the, the sound of the chewing. So, I'm happy. This it, This is Buddy, guys. This is Buddy. 99.9% um, .9 certainty it's Buddy. Uh, but then again, if you recall, I was certain that he dug up a Brazilian nut, um, and it turned out to be a walnut the other day. So, you know, I'm not a reliable uh, source. But no, this is Buddy. That's his color palette. And he has white tufts by his ears. Not a lot. They do seem to have shifted a little bit lately. Not as, not the the white hasn't isn't as pronounced as what it was a little bit bit ago. But they're still there. You can just make out just a brief little tuft of white by his ear, and that's what he has. I still think his arms a little swollen. From from the prior day or saggy or something but otherwise he seems to be doing good this is day um, 48 I believe right yeah this is day 48 hi buddy I love you and most importantly no other squirrel would let you get this close to them they would be chatter. They would climb up, they would be chattering, and you'd have to get the heck out of Dodge. Because if they thought you were a threat to their food and they needed to protect it, they're going to bite you. So. The good news is, with me being this close, I don't think any squirrel will bother Buddy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was just chilling up in the, in the branch. Uh, I think he was actually on the branch higher. Because he was kind of just laying on it and not not uh, like with on his belly. Uh, um, I just talked to one of my uh, neighbors down the alley, and he says, "Yeah, the little one lives." Uh, uh, and I don't know if that's where he lives, but he was like, "Yeah, he lives in this house right there," and uh, it's the house with like sunflower seeds and like uh, um, other stuff in their their house and right next to a peach tree but the peach tree spills over to their yard too a little bit um there is a fence that separates both yards but the peach tree hangs over so that might be where he's taken up and if that's where it is it has plenty of food for him um but he gets plenty of food for me too i wonder what he's eating Anyway, what a nice way to start off. I was a little bit upset when he didn't come to me. But like I said, I heard this. I heard the sound while I was calling to him from across the yard. And this is a com com completely across the yard. And so I was like, I know that's a squirrel. So I was like, the sheer nature of the squirrel, I was like, I want to go up and check on this. And it's a good thing I did check on it. because, And once it didn't go away with me walking towards I was like... So it was Buddy. Um, I will say one of the things I used to 
Buddy has got me a little bit more in tune with nature. Again, I'm not a survival person. I don't know anything about, I'm not a wildlife buff. I'm nothing like that, but I will just say he makes me stop and appreciate the beauty that is all around. And yes, even in a town like Joliet, um, there is still nature and there still is beauty. Not as much in the wild, wild, but you know, take what you can get. And so, I love this little guy. I'm going to stop recording this because this is getting, I don't know what else I could say. I don't know why anybody would be repeating this. I do occasionally like to listen and watch the Budster. These aren't the best videos, and like I said, what's funny is some of the best videos I could have had, um, I wasn't recording, but that's because I don't want to be living through this camera. I like to record because I don't want to ever forget about the wonderful gift that Buddy gave me in this world of him being in my life. And that's also one of the things, I don't want him to be not in my life. That's why I was really upset when he, when I, when he didn't show up until 5 o'clock yesterday. I went ahead and I put lots of food out already. And I ordered just more food. I ordered another, I think only 40 bucks worth of food. Um, he's costing me more money living outside than what he did inside. The good news is he doesn't bite my pinball machines or pee or poop in, on my house and my stuff anymore. Um, but Mitsu did claw up my couch worse than Buddy ever clawed up my couch. Uh, <laughs> I don't hate Mitsu for it. It's a couch. It needs to be lived in. Who cares? You can put a covering on it. It's fine. I don't care about that. It's it's a material thing. Um, I think Mito has scratched some of my glass on my pinball machines. That kind of cheeses me. But you know what? Whatever. It's glass on a pinball machine. Pinball machines are meant to be played. And if there's a little bit of a scratch here or there, who cares? You're playing the pinball machine. You don't got time to look at a scratch. So, with, those, with that, those last nuggets or pearls of wisdom, I'm going to sign off. Everybody, happy Friday. I gotta go on call soon. Up, oh, are you done, Bod Bod? Are you done? Because I got, I got a nut for you. Oh, he's still holding it in his hand. I love you, buddy. And yeah, that's a pecan that he has, by the way. I was able to make it out. He's eating a pecan. Uh, which I will give him another. I'm just going to throw this on the ground next to him. There's no guarantee that he'll get it. But there's also no um, way to not assume that he will get it. Uh, most likely he will get it. But he might not get it. But he will most likely come over and I will spoil him. And there's a whole bunch of almonds that I just sprinkled around. But I bought pumpkin seeds and I bought almonds because I'm out of almonds. Uh, two weeks, they, only, they last about ten days. So 23 bucks lasts the 10 days. But I'm hoping, I, I found almonds cheaper. I'm hoping those will last longer. And I'm going to mix them with pumpkin seeds. So I'm hoping those will last a while. And also with the squirrel food. But I don't like leaving just the squirrel food out because that is the least healthy thing that I can be giving him. Because that's just corn, sunflower seeds, and um, peanuts. Which are actually some of the worst things squirrels can eat. Um... All three of those things. They can eat them, yeah, but they're not the healthiest choice. The almonds and pumpkin seeds are uh, healthier for them. And, of course, you get the unsalted baked stuff. Um, you can get the raw stuff, too. Um, but just make sure you get unsalted, which all of the stuff is unsalted. All the stuff is raw, too. Um, like, well, it's raw baked pumpkin seeds, but still, you get the point. Um, and Buddy loves those. And other squirrels love them, too. So... I'm going to just be alternating the days of what I put out where and the amounts that I put out. And I'm going to uh, just hope. And I stopped putting out the really, really good stuff because I've been lucky and seen Buddy to make sure that he gets the good stuff. Like the walnuts and the pecans. Um, I do put a few hazelnuts out in the morning. Um, by few, I mean I put out like uh, about uh, three to five per spot. So I go through the hazelnuts, but not as quick. I think I, the hazelnuts last about a, a month. If I'm lucky, sometimes I blew through them sooner, but I was dumping a lot of food at, at the early days with Buddy's release just to make sure he'd come back here. Um, 
All right, this is the end of the video. I'm going to tell Buddy I love him one more time, and then I'm going to stop. I love you, Bud Bud. I love you. I love you, Buddy. I'm going inside. I got to go to work. I love you, Bud Bud. Bye-bye.